Hello everyone, it's Jen from Creative Housewives and today I am here to teach you how to make this adorable pop-up toolbox card. This is a ready-to-make project in design space and I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of cutting it out and the supplies you need and putting the whole thing together so that you can make your own card and it even includes an envelope so that you can put this whole thing together and it'll be perfect and ready to go for Father's Day. All right, we're gonna start here in design space and we are just gonna click on the left hand just here on a blank canvas. I'm gonna select the left side here where it says projects. And then I can scroll through. You can just look at the different projects since I know what I'm looking for. I can click here and I can go to cards and then I can put in tool because we're looking for a the tool pop-up card. And you can see it's right here. It's just called the toolbox pop-up card. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then the great thing about um, the ready to make projects in design space is that it walks you through. So the card is approximately five by seven inches. It uses cardstock, and then it walks you through what you're gonna need. You're going to need the, the materials to cut. So a yellow cardstock, a black cardstock, a gray cardstock, and a red cardstock. Obviously, that's if you want it to look like what they have. And this is what I will be following as closely as I can with the cardstocks that I have on hand. So you can use whatever you already have. You shouldn't have to go out and run and grab anything. Then the other list is says everything else you need. Obviously, you're going to need a Cricut machine. Interesting that they don't put that in here. Um, the light grip mat which is the blue mat. It says an adhesive for paper. I will be using the, my favorite cardstock or paper crafting adhesive, which is the Art Glitter Glue adhesive. And then it says the um, scoring wheel, the single scoring wheel and with the quick, quick swap housing or the scoring stylus. So I'm gonna be using my Maker 3 for this. So I will be using the scoring wheel. If you don't have a maker, then you can use the score, like, scoring stylus for this project. So um, if I go ahead, then it, it does walk you through and shows you what everything should look like. So as I, you know, like these are the end up piece, the pieces that you should end up with. So it looks like we have an envelope. We have our little tool pieces, all of these. So for the most part, we don't need to pay too close of attention to this until we get to like this doesn't come into effect until we get to the actual assembly. So this is showing us everything that we have. Then it's telling us to find the tool pieces and then it's going to show us step by step. And I feel like Cricut has come a long way in their um, instructions here, which is great, at least for the ready to make projects. I still feel like for some of the images, the, it's lacking, but that's all right. So it is walking us through, showing us what we need to do, showing us where we need to fold, showing us how the pieces can hover over this one um that one's not wanting to get larger for some reason so how the pieces are just going to fit together so it walks us through all of those steps and then is going to show us how to insert it into the card so make sure that you are following these steps and i'll walk you through these steps um as we're making the project because we are going to make it start to finish but if you're making any of these projects on your own i highly recommend that you go through and look at and read all of these steps so you don't make a mistake like gluing these yellow parts of the card to the red part before you have the toolbox pieces assembled and attached to it so we can go you can hit customize if I wanted to go through, I'll go ahead and select customize so we can see. If I wanted to go through and just say, okay, I know that I don't, like maybe you aren't worried about having the envelope. You can click on the envelope piece. If we can find it through here, it's all grouped right now. So I could select my envelope piece here and just hide that and then not have the envelope. Or if I knew like that I don't have red cardstock and that I was going to change this to blue, then I could come to my red pieces on each of these, all the red ones. Yes, it looks like it. And I could come up here on my top toolbar and say I decided I wanted it to be blue and yellow instead of red and yellow. Or however, like, that is why you would come in here and customize. Um, 
if I go ahead and go back to projects and then head back to cards and then type in tool again, then we'll go back and we'll find that same project again. And then if I'm not worried about changing anything, I can just go ahead and select make it. And then what it's going to do is it's going to, yes, I want to replace because I'm not worried about changing anything. I want it to be made exactly how the instructions have it in the ready to make project. So I'm going to be using a mat because I'm using cardstock. And then I'm going to select continue. And then you can see we're going to have a mat that cuts out our gray pieces, a mat that cuts out our red pieces, a mat that cuts out our yellow pieces, mat that cuts out our blue envelope and then one black mat that has all of our little black pieces so this is everything pretty much that we need here in um, design space for the prepping so now I'm going to go ahead and grab my machine and then we'll walk through the next steps all right let's go over to the next screen here we'll hit continue and it's going to um, connect to my maker 3 and now we are just going to select, I'm just going to go up here to browse all material and I'm going to search cardstock. And I am using um, Cricut's cardstock. So it's just their medium cardstock that's right here. You can tell that it's the Cricut brand setting if it has the little C next to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that as a favorite because I'll be using it for these projects right now. So I can go ahead and select that. You know, it's selected when it has the green check next to it and we'll hit done. And I am using the same um, cardstock for all of these. I already have all of my mats preloaded, so we can just go ahead and load in. I'm keeping my pressure to default and I'm going to load in my gray piece first. I'm just gonna hit go on the machine. And then we'll just go through and we will cut each of these different cardstock pieces. So you can see that it's prompting me to load the scoring wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Okay, so for the scoring wheel, we have the quick swap housing, that button on the top is just what you push to eject it but to load it got it loaded so now i'm going to take out my blade here and put in the scoring wheel and then we are going to load our red cardstock now you can see that it's telling me right now loaded is the single scoring wheel and coming up is the fine point blade so it's just to make sure that you have both of those things ready. Let's be swapping those out. Okay, it is done with the scoring. So now we'll change these out again. Okay, I have all of my pieces cut out, which means that I can now hit done here and it's going to take me back to this screen, which is great because then I have this pulled up so that I can reference all of these pieces while I'm going through the process of putting the project together. 
Okay, now I have all of my pieces cut out and we are ready to assemble the card. Following the instructions here in Design Space, it walks us through and it tells us the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add all these little black pieces to the tools that are here cut out. So I'm going to grab a hammer piece going to grab a saw piece and we will be putting these on both sides so that's why you'll see double of the pieces so this is the little screwdriver handle so I'm going to take my glue I'm using the art glitter glue it dries clear it dries really quick you don't need a lot and it has this great little precision tip which makes it super easy for using with um, paper crafting projects I just dropped that but that'll be all right so I'm going to glue that side down so we're gonna go ahead and add this piece here, lining it up, and then we'll add a little glue to this. It doesn't take a lot at all. So then we'll get this lined up here. So we have those two pieces. Then we'll take our saw piece. That was right, right? that applied we'll let that dry for a minute and then flip it over and do the other side this one we just have the little plier pieces the little handles All right, got those in place there. Looks good on the other side. This one also looks good on the other side. So now we can go ahead and add our other pieces. Okay, so we've got our toolbox pieces put together there. Now we're going to take this toolbox piece and holding it this direction facing us, we are going to fold all of these pieces away from us. So these up and down vertical score lines, we're gonna fold away. And then the bottom tab pieces, we're gonna fold it toward us. And then we're going to take our toolbox pieces and we're gonna take these little tabs here and they're gonna go into the slots here. So we'll go ahead and get those ones put in. And once they're put in all the way, you wanna slide them down so you see there's like the little, so that they're slid into place. And then we'll go ahead and add to this side, get it put in and slide it into place. So we've got that one into place and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Okay, so now we're going to take this piece here. We're going to add a little bit of glue and then fold this down on top of it. We wanna line it up right along those edges so that it 
is straight when we put it onto the card. I'm just gonna hold that and let it dry for a minute. And then we need to add, this is the top little toolbox piece and it also has just the little slots. So that one slides in there and then this one slides in here. So those are in place. We have all these in place and you can see already how it's going to lay flat in the card. So we've got that all put together. So now we take our card pieces we have these two insert pieces and we want them laid out like this. So the card needs to sit like this. So we need this small, the smaller cut on that side and the larger cut on this side. And they're going to sit side by side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add this piece in side the slot here. And it doesn't really matter which side you start on. I'm just starting on this side. So we're going to go ahead and slide that in. And then we're going to add a little bit of glue and fold it back and just let it dry on there for a moment. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so we have that one. And we're going to go ahead and take this one. And it looks a little bit weird when you're like putting it together, but you'll see that once it's all put together, they're in the right spot. So we can take this, can fold it there, and I can add the glue here, and then fold it back and let it dry for just a moment. And then we are almost done. So now I have my card pieces set up like this. So now I have, this is what the design space calls the shell of the card. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna fold it along the score line here away from me so that it's folded just right. And then I'm gonna take the card, I'm gonna put it on the inside. And then we wanna line this up pretty centered. You wanna make sure that you're as close to the score line there as you can get, that our top and our bottom pieces are lined up so that when it opens, it opens correctly. Okay, so I feel like that's lined up pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this right on. I feel like I have equal distance from the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to add glue here. I'm gonna go along the edge really well. I'm gonna go along these tool pieces so I don't get lifting around there and along this edge, around these tool pieces again. Then along this edge and this edge here. Then I'm gonna come back in along this edge so that I don't get the lifting on the inside either. And I know that my tools on the front don't come into like these corner areas. So I'm gonna put glue on, try to avoid just that middle area a little bit. Again, the art glitter glue does dry clear, so it's not that big of a deal if it gets in there, but so now we're gonna take, again, making sure our card's lined up right there where we want it, on both the top and the bottom. The bottom part keeps on. Well, here's what we'll do. We can just take this and place it where we want it to be here on the card. That might be the easier way to do it for the first side. So we've got it set up here. Looks pretty good. You do have like a little bit of time with the art glitter glue for it to um, like to move it as needed. So that's what the front of our card is gonna look like. You can see it's stuck down pretty well here. So now we're gonna take this side and we're gonna do the same thing. But on this side, I don't have to worry about the little tool part and like that shining through or the glue coming through that. I'm just gonna go along the edges, being careful. Again, it doesn't take a lot. And we'll close the card. Push this part down. 
close the card. And we'll just let that dry for a moment. Now you can see we have a finished card here. All right, and the last part of this ready to make project is the um, envelope that cuts out with it if you chose to have that cut out. So for this one, we're just gonna fold in on the score lines. We're gonna fold the side flaps toward us. Do those ones first. And then fold the bottom flap up. Let's get that folded into place. Got our side flaps folded. And then we glue the bottom flap. So we're gonna come along this edge here. And along this edge here. And then glue, push that down, glue this bottom flap up. So we've got that folded into place. We'll just hold on to that for a second, let it dry. Okay, so I've held those in place. Now we can fold that down and you can see that our card fits nicely right inside. Now we have a finished card with a very cute pop-up toolbox inside. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'd love to have you join us every week. We will be here every week at four o'clock Mountain Time on Fridays, teaching you start to finish how to make a new project. We'd love to have you subscribe and to join us each week. Have a wonderful day.